R.K. Uh, Goel, the MD of Kalyani Steel, is now joining us on the show. Thank you for waiting by and good to have you on board. I just wanted to discuss the industry dynamics first, given that domestic HRC steel prices, they've been a bit soft over the last few months and that's been in tandem with global prices. What is the outlook? Where is it that you see steel prices headed? If you could give us an overall view. Good morning. As far as the steel prices are concerned, there is a continuous push in price of all the raw materials within the country, whether it is uh, iron ore, whether it is coking coal, coke, and ferroalize. So there is a tremendous cost push. We are trying to pass it on to our customers, but there is a great resistance at the same time. However, the good news is uh, uh, as far as passenger vehicles are concerned, the volumes are increasing and uh, uh, volumes of other vehicles like commercial vehicle or uh, three wheelers are also improving. However, there is a big slowdown in tractor segment. Okay. And given that we've seen a sharp fall in iron ore prices, what are you, what's your expectations in terms of how your spreads could potentially shape up over the next few quarters? You know, the sharp decrease in iron ore prices is globally, not in India. As far as India is concerned, much larger exports are happening in the form of direct iron ore or in the form of pellets. And uh, there is a shortage of iron ore within the country and uh, the prices are much higher. Quality is becoming poorer. So it is impacting our cost substantially. Right. The other thing I wanted to talk about, you know, China continuing to remain a risk. Uh, do you A, sense that? And how do you see the entire China factor impact global steel industry, say, over the next three to six months? Production within China is going down continuously and uh, demand is low because of the, the way infrastructure segment is uh, doing there. They are not doing well at, at all. And uh, that's why they are trying to dump in various countries wherever they can. So this is uh, again uh, creating a pressure on the global prices, particularly from China. The other thing I also wanted to talk about is export demand. And... Uh, a higher Chinese steel exports at lower prices, putting any sort of exert or um, you know pressure, you think? You know, as far as we are concerned, we are in a segment where very high level of customization is required. Uh, Chinese dumping uh, uh, of material does uh, definitely impact us, but not to the extent uh, where the customers are looking for high level of customization. Chinese material is definitely finding inroads through the trade trading houses. And uh, it definitely have some impact. Yeah, for sure. And uh, given that you are providing forging quality steel for a variety of automotive applications, give us an sense as to what the demand is like from the automobile segment. How much of a uh, how much of revenue potential does this play out for you as a company? So, as far as auto segments are concerned, as I mentioned, uh, they are doing well, particularly passenger vehicles. The volumes are increasing month on month. And we expect a better times, better demand uh, in times to come. As far as we are concerned, uh, we are utilizing 100% of our capacity. So till our uh, expansion projects uh, start producing, I don't see much uh, that we, we can do as far as the, uh, the larger quantity, availability of the larger quantity. And uh, in the long haul, brokerages continue to remain fairly bullish on the steel industry as a whole. Analysts are saying that demand will outpace supply as well over the long haul. Um, for the next five to seven years, I know you gave us an overview on pricing, but how are you looking at the industry as a whole? You see, as far as uh, uh, my view is concerned, the industry is going to do well. India is uh, growing. as Even uh, for the next year, the GDP growth uh, expectations are very high. So definitely, whenever there is a growth in GDP, and particularly 60-70% um, uh, spending is happening in the infrastructure, so there is a very large consumption of steel. And steel is going to grow much higher than 6-7%, uh, to and uh, that's why there is going to be a huge demand within the country. At the same time, we are much more competitive in Europe. The situation is not very good for the steel plants in Europe. Uh, which is a big silver lining for Indian companies. So we'll be able to export much larger quantities to Europe as and when capacity is available with us. 
All right, appreciate your time. Thank you for joining in and giving us that viewpoint on the industry as a whole as well as company specific, how things are really shaping up.